Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Cambodia Global Dialogue, Southeast Asia TV. Uh, tonight, I have the pleasure to have a good friend, uh, Akno. Uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Hello. the show. <laughs> we, uh, Arno and I will have the opportunity to share a bit uh, with you uh, what's happening in the context of uh, uh, Cambodia and, and Europe, uh, because uh, Arno is the uh, chairman of the Eurocham. Right? Yes. Eurocham. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Arno has been in Cambodia for a long time, uh, and I would let him tell you directly what he's doing in Cambodia. But uh, I can assure you that uh, his knowledge on the Cambodia hospitality industry and uh, what's happening uh, with the, uh, all this uh, uh, relation between Europe and Cambodia, uh, it's quite impressive. So Arno, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, before we start, uh, I'd like to give you a few minutes. Maybe you, you can tell the audience a bit about your personal background, you know, what you're doing, uh, your business, but uh, quite a bit about uh, what uh, you, you, you knew had, which mm -hmm. you, you became president of the Eurocham Euro -cham in uh, this year, in June. This year, yes. in June. Yes. Good. But anyway, uh, so uh, please, please. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to, to share with you uh, uh, my experience and, and maybe uh, what, what I'm uh, looking at in the future for both my, my company and, uh, and uh, the European uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I've been in Cambodia since uh, 1994. Oh, so that's, uh, that's that's 22 years. Yeah, time go very fast. One year less than me. Ah, really? 23. Oh. I, I came 93. So 94, I came. I was a I was fresh from uh, fresh graduate from uh, from school, business mm -hmm. school in France. Uh, I came here first for an internship with a group uh, Accor. Ah, you know okay. Accor. Yes, uh, yes, yes. The the. So what what Accor is uh, what hotel? Uh, Accor Accor at, at that time, time had one hotel, the Sofitel Cambodiana. Ah, at that time Cambodiana yes. is Sofitel. Yes, Cambodiana okay. was owned by a Singaporean company. And yes. They uh, they uh, they uh, hire Accor to yes. manage. Okay. And with a brand Sofitel, so I came I came in here as a cost controller. Yes. Uh, and I work with uh, with uh, Sofitel for almost three years. Okay. Uh, it was a, uh, circumstances bring me to uh, to Cambodia because when I was in Europe, I wanted to come to Asia. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure where, and yeah. uh, the opportunity came uh, for me to to go to Accor to Sofitel, and, and I came in here, and then I fell in love. Yeah. Instantly with uh, with the country when right. I arrived, it yes. was. At that time, much different than what it is now. Yes. I remember just the airport. For yes. For instance, the immigration side was uh, very simple. Yes. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and and also the, the infrastructure, the streets uh, in in Phnom Penh. Uh, you had a lot of red roads still. Yes. Uh, yes. I remember Bank and Kong. For yes. Instance. Yes. Exactly. And paved the BBK yes. area was uh, red road everywhere, dust. And uh, now it's changed a lot. No? Changed, yeah, right. So I've seen, I've seen all that. So yes, I, I, I came in here, and uh, and after I finished my my mission with Accor, I wanted to stay in Cambodia, and I and I created uh, my company. First, mm. it was a trading company. We import goods from uh, from France, mm -hmm. from Europe, uh, and distribute to uh, new hotels who were coming in. So Intercontinental, Rafo, uh, yes, yes. I was one of their suppliers. Yes. I, I helped them to uh, to uh, source for some uh, producers yes. for goods yes. uh, for them to operate. So that's mm. how I start mm. my my, my mm. business. Yes, very quickly, uh, and because uh, I'm from a, a restaurateur family, my father, my grandfather. His father and so on since Napoleon, uh, <laughs> they were all uh, really? chef and wow. uh, hotelier. Since Napoleon, uh, yes, wow. yes, as far as we can go yeah. <laughs> in my uh, in my uh, history. So um, I yes, I've been in in the, in the hospitality all my life. Uh, I, I lived in France in a hotel. Yes. And my father owned a hotel, so I was living in the, that hotel. So although I went to a business school, I had this practical. Uh, 
training every mm. day because uh, mm. in France you help the family a bit yes. like here. I think yes. everybody uh, contribute to the family business. It is like in Cambodia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's uh, my 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 background in mm. terms of of knowledge when I came in here. So I I after I start this trading company, I uh, we open uh, with. You know my savings of uh, Topaz oh, okay. restaurant. That was the first one. Yes, in uh, mm. facing uh, is on uh, Sotiro. Right? Yeah, yes, yes yeah. Uh, very close to the Hong Kong Center. Yes, yes. Now it was now it's Brown it's Cafe. Brown Cafe. Yes, uh, yes. I was uh, taken uh, the area was yes. taken by Brown Cafe. We opened Topaz uh, in uh, uh, June 12, 1997. Mm. The first, the first, the first time. And Topaz was a Thai one of the best. Uh, but the Thai restaurant. Yes, at that was time. a Thai yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yes. Because my my wife is a uh, yeah. Thai and my partner in my company also yes. uh, a Thai lady, so we opened first a Thai, uh, Thai restaurant. The difference with other restaurant in Phnom Penh at that time is that mm. we did uh, a restaurant that was uh, uh, we provided air condition. Yes, you know you don't you didn't find many restaurants with air condition. Yes. So that was a difference. Yes. Many. every other restaurant was open with fan mm. on a, mm. on the thing, and it worked very quickly. We just turn on the light uh, one uh, one evening on that Sotia Rose Boudoir that normally was dark because yes. there was no uh, public lighting yes. yet installed, yes. and there's nothing on that uh, on that stretch of road. Yeah. So when we open, it was it was full. Yes, and then it has been uh, full uh, uh, since then. Then we. Uh, Yes, we developed, and I'm not going to get into details, but we moved Topaz uh, uh, two times after yes, that yes. because it was too small mm -hmm. and we grew. Mm -hmm. Now we are on a yes. 162 Nordon Boulevard. It's a French restaurant, mm -hmm. now it goes mm -hmm. to a French yes. restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, the capacity of the restaurant from the 30 seats we had before yes. on Soteros became. 155 seats now on the Rodon Boulevard with a ballroom uh, yes, yes. Uh, can uh, welcome 200, mm. uh, 200 people. Uh, so Topaz is really our flagship. is uh, mm. is our little baby. Mm. We, uh, we, uh, we are the brand is uh, is. Oh, well, it's, it's a Phnom Penh landmark. I mean, <laughs> let's be real about <laughs> that. You. you know, people. We we want uh, some class dining. Yes. You know, we go there. And we tried always to show some. Uh, I, 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 someone told me yesterday uh, we were talking about uh, Topaz. When we moved to uh, where now the mm -hmm. Philippine mm -hmm. Embassy is, when yes. we moved yes. that there, mm -hmm. we really uh, take out the fence. Mm. Uh, it was uh, you could see the restaurant from the street. Yes. There was like no 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 impression like we were yes, behind yes. the fence. Exactly, large window, and we we wanted to give a uh, impression of uh, open openness. openness yeah. Security and yeah, and that yeah. that what marked people that mm. we were the first ones yes, yes. doing that in uh, in Phnom Penh yes. and I think it created a trend. Yes. So we. Well, I, I think you 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 twenty some years in yeah. Cambodia you have seen the evolution of uh, what I call the hospitality industry, yes. the tourism industry. Yes. Uh, we are now what about four some million already tourists yes, arriving yes, in yes. Cambodia, but uh, y you know the evolution of the. Uh, the tourism sophistication, if I can use, right? Yes, yes. I think your restaurant, your group, sort of uh, help build up that image. Yes, yeah. I think I think we did, and it was our purpose also because, uh, uh, as I mentioned, we start with this trading company, but very quickly uh, the the operation of our restaurants, and yes. then we open. Uh, what I, I say, I can say today was the first dedicated uh, Cambodian cuisine restaurant, Malis, mm. yes. opened in 2005. Uh, the idea came very easily because when, when I had friends visiting me yes. from, uh, from uh, Europe or America and they said, let's go and have uh, some Cambodian food in a nice restaurant. Yes. I don't know if you recall, but it was difficult to find. Uh, uh, indeed, indeed, uh, and, indeed. Uh, and or you could find, but then they were mixing uh, uh, the, the Cambodian cuisine with uh, with, with everything, everything else. else. Yeah. So the only way we could eat really Cambodian cuisine was at my uh, colleague's house. Yes. Where, you know, at home. <laughs> yes. Uh, with uh, the indeed. family, and then I said, "Well, we, we cannot find that yes. uh, outside." So, mm. so then I I, uh, I invited my my good friend uh, Lu Meng. Yes. Who, uh, when I came yes. in '94, was uh, he was a, a chef de partie 
uh, in Sofitel Cambodiana, ah, okay. and that's how we met. Yes, yes. Uh, because he was a chef de partie, I was yeah. con- cost controller. Okay. And every month we were taking a stock inventory together in a cool room in a freezer. Yes. So create the relationship. strong relationship. Yeah. Then we we stayed friend, and uh, he continued to work with other international group. And then when when. Uh, when the idea of doing this restaurant, I was, I think, Lu Meng is the is yes. the man we have to to yes. do it together. And you just have another one in Simbria, right? Yes, M- Malik is Simbria, yes. Right? So that's ten right. years later, we we opened this. I think now that's that's what Malice should be. Yes, uh, because Phnom Penh. Uh, after you've seen the the Malice restaurant in Siam Reap, you feel yes. that you feel Phnom Penh is a, a bit smaller. Yes, yes. But uh, yeah, Malice Malice uh, in Siam Reap is. To go back to what you you were saying is very sophisticated. Yes. The buildings is really mm. uh, we wanted to make a statement. Yes. Said, uh, Cambodian cuisine deserve that deserve type of investment. I, I, that's, the that's, that's the word. That's the word. You know. Yes. That's the word. Yes. You know. Uh, so I think you 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 come a long way. I mean, yes. uh, a long way to contribute to the development of the hospitality industry. Um, but perhaps you, you 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 can share a bit uh, also your other hat that you are wearing, which yes. is much larger uh, in terms of, uh, of of work of responsibility, uh, and I could say also in terms of contribution uh, for Cambodia development in, yes. in the eye of the rest of the world. In this case, yes. is more for the European country. Right? Yes, but y- yes, I I, I want to. Co- Talk to to Eurocham, but in a minute. But but from the from the tourism part, from yes. the hospitality yeah. part, uh, very quickly after we open a hotel, uh, um, uh, Amanjaya and mm. K West, which uh, now uh, was uh, uh, taken over by another group. But uh, I realized that the private sector mm. uh, in hospitality was a bit uh, uh, everywhere uh-huh. and not really together okay and then with uh, with uh, with uh, with Meng uh, Lu Meng we 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 start to 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 realize that it was difficult to recruit people mm. uh, so that's the challenge there was no national school there and, okay. and then we had to to take people and spend time mm. uh, instead of de- developing the company uh, yes. uh, to train the people which is our role uh, yes. as a company but we spend a lot of time mm. and no 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 culinary school no cooking school no mm. tourism school and so on so for a long time we 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 try to gather people around and say we need we need mm. to get together mm. find solution to uh, to uh, Great school. Mm. Uh, so you have some NGO like yes. Old Good in Siamai, yes. Salabai, uh, yeah. BSE, they yes. are, they yes. are here. Yeah. But those are initiative, uh, uh, foreign initiative, they yeah. say to Cambodia. I'm a foreigner, but I consider myself uh, more as a local now, yes. being here for so mm. long and yes, you know, exactly. most of my life. Yes, right? yes. But uh, but I was I was I, 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 we wanted to create. Uh, uh, or to, to help to create schools that are recognized by uh, uh, the, the population mm-hmm. because uh, the reputation of, of, of people working in restaurant or in a hospitality mm-hmm. in general mm-hmm. for a long time wasn't yeah. very good. Yeah. If you had someone in your family said, I'm going to be a waiter or a cook, yes. they look at you and say, what, yeah. what is it? They didn't see any future yes, yes. in doing that. Yes. Uh, although Th- those careers are very uh, good in, in, in France, in yes. Switzerland, in yes. US, in Australia. You have a very nice career. It's very yes. respectable. Yes. Or, yeah. So so that perception needed uh, to mm. be addressed, needed to change, so yes. we could find a proper uh, employee. So we, we uh, Lumeng, myself, other people from the private sector, we really uh, start mm. uh, with also Pauling from uh, from uh, the Van uh, yes, restaurant. Yes, yes. We, we first decided to try to create uh, an association for restaurants, so oh, we created okay, yes. the Cambodian Restaurant Association. What year was that? That was uh, 2010, I think, mm. 2010, 2011. Yes, yes. And, uh, uh, and from there, mm. we, 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 we lobby our, our colleagues in yes. the private sector, come in here, yes. let's join forces, okay. let's train our people. Yes. Let's make the the you know the, the let's give us uh, let's give ourselves the tools to develop, mm. 
And uh, while we were doing that, we 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 we, we were getting very close to uh, the Ministry of Tourism, mm -hmm. uh, and we work yes. with them. We yes. start to work. Yes. This is what we want to mm -hmm. do, and we ha we start to establish dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from this association, we and and uh, and the Ministry of Tourism uh, and Dr. Tonkon who always, mm. uh, I think, had open arms for yes. for us and yes. to listen to us. Mm. And I was, uh, it, it still is a, a great uh, uh, counterpart in yes. tourism. And and so we established that uh, that association. Uh, then we involve ourselves a lot after we open our hotels, mm. also in the hotel association. Mm. So the hotel association was existing, yes, but not really mm. uh, uh, yes. active. So, so I think uh, yes. we. we uh, I'm going to take a short break now yes. uh, yeah. because of the the timing. Yes. But when we come back, you you can expand a bit more. How do you see the challenge when you help form this association? Yes, because these are very important. You know, uh, uh, we we are growing. But with growth come a lot of challenge. Yes. Okay, so we'll take a short break. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Well, no, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, the notion of a building an industry, people say, oh, it's easy, you know, it, it should grow. We have the business, a tourism coming in, hotel are building up, you know, it, it looks easy. But I think from what you said, right, behind this big building this mm. uh, that somebody built anyway mm. behind his people yes and i think this is probably some of the challenge that not many people know about it yes. how to build an industry but alone you cannot do it but through the association and i'm sure with the association you also have some and challenge yes share with us a bit as it relate to your to your sector in fact the the first challenge we we met was to convince others to join the association mm. because because uh, in our industry, people are key. Yes. I mean, we, we can't operate a hotel or restaurant. There are services industry without people. Yes. And and skilled people, educated people in that industry were a rare commodity. Yeah. Yes, if I can say commodity. Com com yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard to find yes. the people to mm. be in our in our industry. So, any newcomers. Someone to say, I'm going to open a restaurant. I'm going to open a hotel. Mm. Where, where are they going to hire yeah. people? Yeah. So they go to the neighbors. You know, this one is good, or they're eating at the table. You know, we have yeah. few <laughs> a few people come still now. You know, they see the restaurant Topaz doing well. Mali, so I'm going to open a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> and then they talk to the manager. Oh, you know, you're yeah. interesting. Yeah. If I open a restaurant, come with me. <laughs> so, Pochi. so Pochi. <laughs> terrible. So so. So, so that's been the case for I mean, uh, since I've been here, mm. and uh, and of course it creates animosity between mm. people, okay. uh, between two restaurants, between okay. two hotels. So yes. when they are in the same room, you know, mm. yeah. you, know, you took my staff, yes, yes, and then you double a salary. Mm. Right? You, you understand the yes, animosity yes. that it can create. So then, to bring these people around the table, say let's work together. Mm. That's the first challenge you have to overcome. That animosity mm. that that came from the fact that uh, they are competitor on the marketplace, yes, but they are yes. also competitor in hiring yes. the, 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 the the people. Mm. Mm -hmm. So then, when when we when we mentioned that our priority as an industry would be to address that problem, mm. to make sure that we have people uh, educated uh, and with a proper skill to come mm. and work with us. And then we should work together to get there. Mm -hmm. And that, mm -hmm. that we start to to uh, and to people come. People. And they they come along, right? They they came, but again, you know, you it need, took a while. You need convincing yes. uh, because association here have little uh, resource financially mm. resource. So at the beginning, those association they are hosted. Mm. Uh, within a, a hotel, so yes, one yeah. brand. Yes. So the other said, "Oh, mm. this is Mr. X Association. Yes. Oh, I, don't I don't want to go, go there. there. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I You're don't right. want to support them. Yes, yes. So I'm not going. Uh, and then when you said we need to ship in all together, pay some some fee so we mm. can hire a staff who can yes. follow up the job because at the beginning we don't have resources, so it's yes. just." The owners or mm. some general yes, managers yes. to come around the table have yeah. great yeah. ideas. We mm. should do this. We should but do nobody that. follow up. The meeting stop. Everything Everybody stop. go back to work. Nothing until nothing. the next meeting. <laughs> yes, we we'll say, but we haven't done anything. Yes. So we talk again about the idea. But so everything happen once you have resources and when we have mm. the staff. So that's mm. also mm. hard to 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 put in place. But mm. now 
the Cambodian Restaurant Association have a permanent staff, mm. the Hotel Association have a director and mm. an office which is not uh, located in, in a particular, in a particular company. company. So of course, once we, we have done that, then the image change, people see, okay, there is an office, Cambodia Hotel Association, there is an office, Cambodia Restaurant Association, I can go. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to anybody, yes, it yes. belongs to us. Yes. So, so it took us four to five years to get mm -hmm. there, you know? Exactly. So yeah. uh, it's not an easy, uh, yes. an easy work. But and you made it though. Yeah. I think you, you made it and yeah. uh, uh, don't you feel that by now everybody is prospering because of this uh, well, sort of like that's I think that's one of the key to the success. Uh, yes. uh, once we, we 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 can establish our common interest. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. We say we work on that because mm -hmm. it's beneficial to us yes. all. Then it commits people to work. Then of course in the marketplace we are competitor. You know, I can tell you something. Right? Yeah. So you should be yes. <laughs> uh, worried a bit because yes. now you manage uh, to have good association. Yes. But I was told by a banker yes. that yes. banker love now to poach you know people who yes. work in the restaurant correct and I say how so well because in the restaurant they they groom them to dress yes. well to comb their hair they always say nice thing so they become good teller exactly. so they snatch from a restaurant boom they train them a bit they can become good teller that's very so it's, true uh, that's it's true right that's okay. very true we see it but in fact it's a good thing yes uh, because uh, also we are happy to, to to bring people in train them groom them and give you know uh, to see them evolve yes. la later on yes it's it's a good thing we are yes. uh, we are also that's our responsibility so if they have career in a bank you know it's even yeah, why not? Not? yeah and I think it's a, a good path yes the, the hospitality industry in fact is a is a good path and open many yes. doors for for, yes. for, for, for young, how, young how, people. how big is our industry now in terms of employment uh, indirectly I think uh, uh, the number of uh, employee uh, benefiting from the tourism industry is mm. uh, around 600 uh, 600,000 uh, directly yes, yes direct, directly. directly yes so if you multiply with the, the indirect 600 and then we we the ministry of tourism forecast a million by 2020 we are now 600 was uh, in 2011 i think yes. and we are now uh, more in uh, 7 to 800,000 wow. and we are we are looking at 1 million by so, so you are as big as the garment industry oh yeah? i think so yes. and indirectly and, and it's even yeah. even more even more yeah. yes better quality life yes. Uh, yes. yes at least they can eat good yes <laughs> so but, but also gdp contribution uh, the tourism industry is about what now 15% uh, yes yes what? about 15% uh, uh, three three billion, uh, I think, uh, in yes, 2015. Yes. Uh, so and 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 then it's, it will grow. You, you, the, the other thing that I, I find interesting is that uh, the Cambodian uh, the, their language skills is pretty good. Eh? Yes. Uh, you know, I was told by many friends uh, that come to Cambodia, they find mm. that uh, a lot of people that they talk to speak English. <laughs> uh, I think I, I I heard the same thing. Uh, tourists who traveling the region, they are surprised yeah. when they arrive in in, uh, in Cambodia. At, at the airport, they take uh, a remark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to call it remark. Not remark, tuk, yeah. not tuk, tuk, yeah. Okay, tuk, tuk say Thai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remark. They take the remark and then uh. they speak. They speak English. Yes. Taxi speak English. Yes. Uh, uh, they arrive at the hotel, the front desk speak very well English and they compare with Thailand. They say, I used to go to Thailand a long time ago, mm. it was like that, but now it's not anymore. Yes. And they, and, and they find uh, very surprising. So yes, the, the industry, I think, uh, in terms of language, have, yes. uh, mm. have uh, mm. a good skill in proportion, yes. I'd say. Yes. And uh, that's an asset. Now. So you uh, looking to the future, yes. you you see a continuous growth of the tourism industry. Yes, and 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 we are uh, thanks to the to the work of those association, and lately we created 
in the Cambodia Tourism Federation, okay. which regroup all uh, those uh, okay. restaurants. So, how, so the, the, the federation will include what? The travel so, association? So the Cambodia Tourism Association includes the Cambodia Hotel Association, Hotel association. which now is the main driver okay. of the, the federation. Hotel. The restaurant association. Right. We created also the chef, the chef. Uh, association. Okay. Uh, okay. Because uh, there, are, there are a lot of work in terms of training to, okay. to be done specifically for them. The uh, Pata, uh, Pata is a Pata is the is travel, a, right? Yeah, travel agent, travel uh, agent Pacific is, yeah. uh, is another uh, association. Yes, includes also uh, normally it's a federation of associations. Yes, but then we open uh, the association to companies who have ex specific ex oh. or exclusivity okay. in our industry, like the airport. Ah, so okay. the airport as a comp Cambodia airport as a company is on the board of that okay. association. Okay. The port, yes, uh, yes. The, the port yes. as well. Because I, I, speaking of port, it's interesting. I know that mm. eventually, I expect, you know, the the big cruise ship, you know, when uh, in in coming to yes. Sienokville, yes. right? Because now they pass by us. Right. They do stop by occasionally, yes. Yes. but when we have proper facility, they will stop. Yes. And you're talking about a thousand people per yes. time. Yes. So okay, okay. So we 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 need them and all and 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 we start to work because. Uh, if you look at the latest statistic uh, arrival in Siem Reap, mm. it was growing by two-digit number, you mm. know, for for many times, for for many years, uh, and we see since last year it's still growing, mm -hmm. but at at a, a slower so, uh, rate. Yes, but yeah, okay. so we we arrive like a, a plateau, let's yes. say. Yes, yes, and uh, uh, it's it's I think it's very important for our industry to to support CM Reap with all the yes. destinations. Yes. Uh, coastal areas, yes. speaking of the destination, uh, at the end of the year, we're going to have uh, yes. this... Uh, On the 23rd. Yeah. Coastal uh, uh, Development uh, okay. Conference okay. in, uh, in Cyanogville. So we are, uh, Euro European Chamber of Commerce is really uh, supporting the project. Yes. Yeah, it's, yes. an, it's organized by the Ministry mm. of Tourism. Mm. We, we wanted, and for a long time, I've, mm. I've, I've been pushing for it, really put the coastal development uh, issues, uh, complexity, mm. how we can start yes, really yes. Uh, to have a, a roadmap to mm. develop uh, that region yes. so it can become uh, quickly a destination yes. because uh, the market for beach tourism mm. is much bigger than uh, the market for yes. cultural tourism. Yes, yes. And, uh, and also when people go uh, to uh, spend some holiday at the beach, they stay, you know, 10 to mm. 2 weeks. Yes. Uh, when yes. they come to Siem Reap, they mm. stay less than a week. Yes. So for the economy, it's vital mm. that we develop that. Area. So I think with all this poll, yes. so before we have only really one main yes. poll, right, yes. which is Siem Reap. Siem Reap. Yeah. Now we start to see a multipolar yes. uh, destination, yes. right? Yes. But so infrastructure. Infrastructure to accommodate them. You think uh, well, are we on the right track with all this, or with all this condominium? I I also start to notice service apartment. Yes. You know, like people who want to stay not in a hotel. Yes. But they want to stay in a service apartment. These are also a trend, no, in Phnom Penh. Uh, yes. I, I mean, I, I've 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 been personally I've been surprised to see. Uh, the, the investment grew so fast in that area yes. in the in the construction real estate in Phnom Penh suddenly yes. you know from uh, hmm. nothing yes first we had the Canadian Bank Tower <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then and then uh, Watanak yes uh, Watanak and then now the bridge uh, Shangri La all those buildings and uh, well I'm I, I want to see how it evolves it's a yes. good thing I think yes. now it's the uh, when we look at the FDI, uh, it's the second mm. the second uh, area yes. where the investment comes. But, but to, to me, uh, I know. I yeah. think this. I will go back to what you yeah. said earlier. You know, building is easy. Staffing with human being, with easy. skill, with uh, with knowledge. Uh, you know, me because look in the restaurant business, right? You cannot learn how to cook. Forget about cooking. You cannot even learn how to greet people. Uh, properly, if you're not well trained. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so, it, just to to that problem and from the work of the association and also uh, also newcomers, uh, we we help to 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 get the first culinary uh, yes. school. Yes. Uh, uh, Pierre Tami, uh, oui, 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 that oui. you know, yes, yes. you know well, uh, has uh, find funds mm. uh, to establish the school. We help to provide uh, a building, the yes. Cambodian Tourism Federation yes. uh, and the Minister of Tourism. 
and and the school is opening hmm. uh, yes. Tomorrow, yes yes uh, yes uh, tomorrow yes so the school is opening so we have and 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 the certificate will be uh, certified by 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 the by the, the ministry but but it's interesting because it will be also recognized by the asean uh, yes uh, mutual recognition yes, yes. arrangement, right? Correct. This is very interesting because it does give the possibility for Cambodian uh, skilled people to also travel oh. around ASEAN. Yes. And why not, right? Yes. Uh, it, it, uh, work for Sofitel, Intercon, uh, Le Meridien in Singapore right. or in Langkawi. And then we can talk about career. Yes. And not only in Cambodia, yes. but it opens regional to career. regional. This is what I am excited about yes. because, you know, I, I think, you know, in the psyche of many Cambodians, yes. they feel, oh my God, ASEAN economic community, we're so under skill, they're going to come and take our job, what can we do? It's not true. It's yes. that now with all this possibility, you, the Cambodian, skill people, provided you get the right skill, right? Yes. You have a chance also right. to look at ASEAN as a, you know, your, your, your career mm -hmm. path. Yes. I think we're going to stop now for right. the, the last break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to cover on the uh, your, 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 channel. your channel. All right? Good. All right. I know you, you, yes. you spoke quite a bit about uh, the Cambodian Federation yes. of uh, Hospitality Industry yes. that has okay. so many different associations. Okay, let, let's transpose a bit to your, your other hat. Yes. which is the president of Eurocham. Yes. I think Eurocham is similar in the sense that uh, before before Eurocham was uh, created, yes. there's a lot of other associations. Yes. Uh, Cambodian, French, right. you have the German, German you have the British. British uh, and now you all come together. They still have their own thing, yes. but you come under one, one. large European yes. uh, chamber. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, Euro 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 European Chamber of Commerce was uh, launched in 2011, mm -hmm. also, uh, more than five years uh, five years ago. It was funded by uh, three chamber, three national chamber: the French, the the German, and and the British. Uh, the reason why we, we we wanted to to create the Eurocham is because I think, uh, and this is the same uh, problematic than uh, what I discussed about yes. tourism, is we needed. We, but more resources, mm. more funds, mm. so we can we, we could do more work. So yes. we we joined together, and uh, and today we have a, a chamber that, that receive also funds from uh, the European mm. Union that uh, able us to hire uh, staff. Mm. So we have seventeen permanent uh, wow. employees. Wow! Uh, and and but we have a mission uh, as mm. well. Uh, Basically, Rocham today is, uh, if, if I can describe it, uh, we have four four main pillars. Mm. Uh, uh, one of them is services. Yes. So we, we, we created a service department. What, uh, what do you mean by service? Service department, uh, the service in, in Eurocham, we, we conduct market survey. Okay. We also help. Uh, uh, companies from Europe okay. to to come here. We arrange uh, yeah. meetings with uh, yes. officials with uh, if they want to do market. So is it a reason yeah. I say so? Is because in my mind yeah. I, I'm more uh, a WTO guy, and when I think of service, I think of the service sector. Ah, yeah. Those, um, you know, no, no, no. Uh, more consulting. You know, yeah, yeah. Part, okay. The more, the so more, here it's yeah. service. Yes. For the uh, in in the definition of serving yes, yes. Uh, the the membership, the idea is to have a, a desk where any companies from Europe who are interested to come to into the ASEAN. Yes, uh, we try first of all to to when they say I want to go to ASEAN is like six hundred million yes, uh, yes. people market. Said come to Cambodia mm. is the perfect country. Yes, to start yes. because it's very open for yes. business. Yes, it's one of the easiest countries mm. where you can. So that's how uh, that's how. Uh, yes. uh, motto when we, we yes. travel and, mm. and do some some work. So they come to so they they reach out our service desk and then they, they say this is mm. what I need to know. So yes, this yes. is this is what it's for. The second pillar is advocacy. Okay. Advocacy is what was lacking in, in all our national uh, chamber before. Yes. We didn't have the resources. Because they were too small. Yes, right? they were yeah. too small in advocacy you spend money. Yes. And you have people and then they they establish a bilateral relationship with uh, ministries yeah. and they work with, uh, but, with but the government. I, I notice you, mm. you guys are doing a very good job yes. with, uh, with the government. You, you manage to organize uh, 
event, lunch, dinner yes. with top government minister yes. who brought their their whole team yes. uh, to meet. That's quite quite a quite I would say uh, unusual because. I think Yo Cham is the only one who managed to do that. Eh? Well, I think that there are also uh, associations who, who did that before the IBC, for yes. example. Uh, yes. Done so, uh, they, they but not on a systematic not way. Not on a systematic, but because we have those resource funds yes, and because exactly. we have those permanent staff. Yes. And Blaise, who is our advocacy manager, is spending, uh, you know, yes. he, he's, he's spending his whole time now yes, and yes. over. I mean, uh, yes, even yes. doing yeah. to to establish those relations, and we are really supporting uh, initiative. We are, yeah. we have this dialogue now. Mm. So uh, you've seen the the white book that yes. we have published yes. this year. Yes, uh, that was uh, the work of eight working committee within mm. the Eurocham. Yes, uh, and we bring up those issues, and that's. You can say it's from European companies, but I think if we share uh, the issue of the mm. white book with the Japanese uh, yeah. uh, companies, you're comments, right. There's a lot, we, we, there's a lot of commonality. a lot of commonality. We agree with all this, yes. and then in fact, it could become, and that's what I'd like to see, yeah. uh, uh, part of the private yes. uh, sector yeah. voice. Yes, and then and then and then we have that. We yeah. have. A, you know, the 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 other outreach yeah. I was very impressed yeah. by, which on a subject that is that mm. touch everybody. Mm every business life which is the taxation yes the last time you guys yes. organized this yes. forum right it's amazing yes we have you know? 400 people yes showing up. 400 people and then the dg uh kung Wibo was there yes. with his team yes. uh sharing what they are doing you know listening to the concerned private sector having their you know uh, their team to respond this I'm, is great. I must know? say, uh, Excellency Kong Vibol and his team uh, uh, are very uh, reactive to yes. our questions and uh, they always open the door to meet with us, yes. to listen to the concerns because, uh, you know, uh, yes. and, and, and I know it also as a, as a company who pays its tax, the, the tax collection increased dramatically. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The GDP increased 7%. Mm. But then the tax collection, without any change in the law, hmm. increased by more than 20 uh, 20 percent. Yes, yes. So it changes yes, the, yes. The, the 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 tectonic of, mm -hmm. uh, of 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 the market. So it creates issues, and yes. people want to discuss. And it's good the way the Eurocham really yes. support the fact that uh, the government is working to towards compliance mm -hmm. to make sure to level mm -hmm. the playing mm -hmm. field. And and Kong Vibol is one of our primary uh, yes. uh, contact for that, yes, yes. and he always yes. come. And uh, I think the the the, the GDT also uh, uh, hold many forums also mm. to 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 tell people yes, yes. and to explain because mm -hmm. there is that, that knowledge that yes. needs to be uh, yeah. disseminated everywhere. So when we did that forum, eh, we had over four hundred pe people at mm -hmm. the and mm -hmm. we had the whole GDT senior yes. management yes. Uh, and and Kong Vibol to to be. Yes. So that was a, a very successful forum. Um, we, 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 end of this month, uh, we, we had this tourism, uh, yes. uh, the, the coastal, uh, right. yes, uh, the coastal development uh, conference that mm. we, we are involved. It's mm. organized by MOT, the Minister of Tourism, but we are, we are involved. Mm. A lot of speakers. Uh, during that forum are, are coming from uh, from uh, the European mm -hmm. the European Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you have uh, uh, you will you will see there uh, people from Cambodia Airport. You know mm -hmm. Cambodia Airport yes, is yes. a joint venture between Vinci, mm -hmm. uh, French company, yes. and a local uh, yes. Cambodian company. Uh, so Eric uh, Delobel will be one of the speaker. There will be Christophe Forciniti mm -hmm. also is from GSM. Yes, uh, have some. Uh, yes, so so you have some really top quality. Speaker, speaker who knows about right. the, the the coastal development. We yeah. have we have uh, Christophe uh, Etienne Chenevier from City Star mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you, you know as well. We will have uh, Denis Asgain from Coming mm -hmm. uh, who will speak about uh, uh, utilities development yeah, yeah. in the area. Uh, you will have uh, um, uh, André from Exo Travel, uh, mm -hmm. travel mm -hmm. from the travel agency mm -hmm. uh, world. So, so uh, yes, uh, people who have been here, who are yes. involved and uh, yes, have yes. Uh, really interest, yes. they, they, will, they will be participating mm. yes. to this uh, forum. It's going to be interesting, I think, because... Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 aside from... Yes. Uh, so, you have service, you have uh, uh, advocacy, advocacy, then... Uh, then we have two types of outreach. Outreach okay. is uh, going out of 
of, of Cambodia in a region first, yes. establish network, okay. talk to European companies who are in Thailand, in Vietnam, okay. in Singapore, oh, okay. and okay. say, look guys, Cambodia is open for business. Yes, exactly. And, but it's, it's changed now, mm. It's, mm. so 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 we, we, we go in a region and, and, and do just that. We will have a Cambodia Day in Bangkok in March, Okay. Uh, and we will talk directly to the... I like that, Cambodia companies. Day in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> no, but these are important. Yes. Because many uh, businessmen in Thailand, it, it yes. shocked me yes. when I was there for some uh, investment or business forum. The question they say, we in San Kabul have a lot of land mine. Yes. I mean, y you know, yes. unless you go out there and spread the, 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 the news that look, yes, there are still a few, but not in place that you're going to do business, okay? Yes. Yes. You know? So, things like this is yes. very important. Yes. So, that's, you do that and the, the outreach, right? right. Okay. Outreach regional, and we do some outreach uh, also work in Europe. Okay. Right? okay. okay. Because our mission really uh, within Eurocham is to provide. Uh, link to mm. to countries of the European Union yes. does they, where, where they don't have any representativeness or yes. support here yes. Europe yes. champ over that yes. support yes. Yeah. and uh, uh, so we go to Europe mm. we participate to trade fair in yes. Europe yes. We, uh, yeah. we 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 establishing a network and we try to put Cambodia on the on yes. the radar of yes. Uh, yes. European company SMEs and so on so, so that's, that's a third one, right? The, the, I mean, outreach. Yeah, the third outreach. one, in fact, is two because we we look at the ASEAN outreach as one okay. uh, particular uh, mission, okay. and then uh, in Europe as another one. So okay, uh, okay. So outreach yes, is two, two. Basically, it's two. Two basically, yeah. yes. Two, com okay. two, two components. So the the targets, the the the. the, the, the the companies that we, uh, we we try to bring in are SMEs, hmm. yes. the big, big corporation. They don't need. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, you're right. Uh, they they have their team already. They yeah. have their team. They yeah. have, uh, I mean, but but I, I I find interesting that you know. Uh, let's say for example, yes. uh, from France right now, the quality of good bakery that we have in town. Ah, yes. it, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's amazing. Yes. Uh, and these are all uh, SME. Yes, you know, and locals. Uh, uh, and locals. You have yes. foreign brands, but then you have uh, local entrepreneur. Who, uh, I, I go to Cap, and I used yes. to complain that in Cap, where do I have? Uh, to go to have a good breakfast in the mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Now we have a so a, a, a village uh, bakery, yes. right? Yes. French. Yes. You know, uh, wow, good coffee, good baguette. Yes. You know? uh, bre like bread is, uh, I think, is a Cambodian uh, Cambodian. It's part of the Cambodian yes. culture now. Exactly. You know, you go to the market, you see the yeah, the, the bread, the uh, pain. Uh, uh, pain. Uh, uh, pain. Yeah. Uh, pain. You have Bayon uh, Bayon Bakery, yes. Uh, yes. very big. Uh, yes. So I think. Mm. The Cambodian culture, up, you know, yes, yeah. own now that yes, uh, exactly. Cambodian culture. Exactly. So I think also bread, like you have. Uh, but now we start to also get the pasta. See? Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, so all the three carb, right? Yeah, that yeah. make you fat, right? Rice is ours already. Yeah. We are quite lumpang yeah, already, yeah, yeah. and now we're moving to yeah. the last carb, yeah. which is uh, yeah. Italian pasta. Italian <laughs> restaurants are yeah. showing yeah. up. Yes. So um, uh, the the the. Uh, the SMEs uh, are important. Mm -hmm. I think they are very important, yes. and the uh, and the European Chamber uh, is looking at them yes. mostly. The small and, okay. and medium enterprise. Okay. Now, the scale of small and medium enterprise uh, in Europe and uh, in in Cambodia is very different. Yes, yes, very yeah. different. Yeah, uh, my company, which would be uh, considered in in Europe maybe as a smaller smaller yes. part here. Yeah. We yeah. are uh, convivial uh, targets as a large uh, taxpayer, <laughs> so it's very. Big. It's, a, it's a big honor. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a different scale, but we, we so we we focusing on those uh, SME. So f companies who are not yet in and mm -hmm. want to come, so we, mm -hmm. we we cater them, and also of course companies are already here. Yes. Don't ask me. Yes. How many companies, uh, European companies here? Yeah. Because in fact, I don't have uh, yet the yeah. figures, and yeah. it's very hard to yeah. to to find it because you have individual who came in like me a yes. uh, few years ago with a small capital yes. invested in Cambodia and grow yes. and uh, they are not registered in the FDI mm -hmm. uh, statistic mm -hmm. uh, yes, indeed. can we call them European investors yes. also so, exactly. so, yeah. so we are conducting a survey exactly to find out exactly w mm. what we represent yes. um, uh, so you're doing a lot right? I mean yes. I would say uh, you know uh, yes. I know we're unfortunately we're coming at the end of the oh. show again uh, I hate that uh, but but I think grosso modo, okay, we we 
we can feel in Cambodia, being a, a, a small country, yes. a very cosmopolitan country, a country that is very open in terms of economy, mm. in terms of uh, you know uh, outlook, you know, and uh, as you know well, our, our prime ministers and like the Jones and mm. he is a fervent believer of uh, economic liberalization, right? Uh, and we can see from this uh, policy uh, openness how we've been able to attract you know quality yes. whether they SME or big company it doesn't matter mm -hmm. the main thing they bring quality yes right and it will filter down to the local partner and eventually five years ten years down the road you'll see this quality quality filter mm -hmm. within society here yes so I think on that note I uh, I want to encourage you to continue to do a good job mm -hmm. with your champ yes. okay uh, and continue to uh, keep the quality the landmark of Mali restaurant of Topaz, you know. Okay. I think you guys are doing great job. Thank you very much. I know. Thank you. Thanks for the Thank show for, uh, for coming. Yes, eh? yes, yes, it was great. Right. Now I'm hungry now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy the, the uh, short discussion on something that made me hungry, which is good food, you know, uh, good hotel, good facility, and uh, you know, hope you learn something about also that when it looks so easy but it's not easy you know it takes a lot of effort to build an association take a lot of effort to train people you know but ultimately that's what Cambodia need quality infrastructure in tourism quality you know uh, capacity building for people and ultimately we can sort of like position or brand a country that we do have quality tourism industry in Cambodia good night